video will walk you through the rooftop installation of the Enphase IQ microinverters. There are three primary steps involved in installing and commissioning an Enphase system. The first is the rooftop installation. The second is wiring the AC Combiner Plus or standalone Envoy. And the third is commissioning the system in Installer Toolkit. In this video, we will focus on the rooftop installation. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the Enphase IQ 7 Plus microinverter, the Q cable, and terminator caps. Your designs may call for additional Enphase accessories, including terminator caps, ceiling caps, Q raw cable, and field wireable connectors. Now let's walk through the steps to install an Enphase IQ system. Measure the modules and mark the approximate centers of each PV module on the PV racking to prepare for microinverter installation. If the Enphase DC adapter cables are not already attached, attach them to the DC input port of the microinverters now. Verify that the DC adapter cables are fully seated and locked. Listen for the click to verify. Mount the microinverters where you marked the rails with the bracket side facing the sky. When installing the microinverters, you should be mindful of obstructions, such as the PV module frame, module junction box, or circuit junction boxes. Install the junction box in a suitable location on the racking, in reach of your Q cable. Rough in the cable so that it aligns with the inverter position. Route the Q cable into the junction box using UF-type cable glands and complete all downrun AC connections. Connect the AC connector of the Q cable to the microinverter. Listen for the click as the connectors engage. Ensure that you have ample bend radius and do not kink the cable. Attach the Q cable to the rack using the recommended clips. Use a clip to hold the Q cable before jumping between rails. Terminate every open end of the Q cable with a Q terminator. Let's start by getting familiar with the terminator parts that you will need for assembly. This is the terminator body. This is the grommet that fits inside the terminator body. And this is the hex nut. Now let's assemble. Using the terminator loop to measure, remove 13 millimeters or one half inch of the cable sheath from the conductors. Slide the hex nut onto the cable. Insert the cable into the terminator body so that each of the two wires land on opposite sides of the internal separator. The grommet inside the terminator body should remain in place. Verify that the opening of the grommet is aligned with the flat of the cable so that when inserting the wires, they are split by the internal separator. Make sure that the hex nut is fully tightened. Hold the terminator body stationary with a screwdriver and turn only the hex nut to prevent the conductors from twisting out of the separator. Be sure to only tighten the hex nut. Rotating the terminator body could cause the conductors to back out past the internal separator. Warning, never unscrew the hex nut. Unscrewing the hex nut destroys the locking feature and you must replace the terminator. Manage the terminator cable end to the PV racking with a cable clip or tie wrap so that the cable and the terminator do not touch the roof. Here is a brief demonstration of the process in action on an actual installation. Peel the removable serial number label from each microinverter and affix it to its respective location on the paper copy of the installation map. Mount the PV modules above the microinverters. Connect the DC leads of each PV module to the DC input connectors of their corresponding microinverter. Listen for the clicks to ensure they are connected. Turn on the AC disconnect or circuit breaker for the branch circuit. Turn on the main utility grid AC circuit breaker. Your system will start producing power after a five minute wait time. 
The status LED on the side of each IQ microinverter will blink green six times to indicate normal operations after DC power is applied. You've now completed the rooftop installation of the Enphase IQ microinverters. To learn more about how to install and commission an Enphase system, visit enphase.com slash getting started for details.